Here at the Rosamund Gifford Zoo, we take saving the rain very seriously. From cisterns to wetlands to porous pavement to green roofs, we have it all. And not only do our visitors benefit, and it gives us a great opportunity to teach them about how to be responsible and how important it is to save the rain, but our animals benefit as well. The experience when you come to the zoo now starts before you even enter the building. With the porous pavement that we've added and the bioretention areas and the, our parking lots, the really awesome water system that we've added with waterfalls and ponds, lots of native plants. And today we're looking at Ceres House. Ceres are a matriarch of our elephant herd. We have six elephants that live at the zoo. And unlike most of the elephants around the country, Ceres can say that her house has a green roof. And on the green roof, there's thousands of plants, mostly sedums that help us filter the storm water that hits the roof and doesn't allow it to go into the storm drains. Historically, when the, the ponds were tarvia or concrete based, we had to drain the ponds every other week throughout our whole summer season to keep the water fresh and clean. And as you can see, this is a waterfall and this waterfall is where it all starts. The water comes, is pumped all the way from our main waterfowl pond and it comes up through this waterfall into this very, very passively flowing water wetland system where all these native plants help clean the water and continue on through another wetland series that has very, again, slowly passive water moving um, with lots more plants to help clean that water. And then, a really great place is the boardwalk, um, which is a new element for the zoo where, where visitors can stand on the boardwalk view the wetlands underneath on both sides and enjoy the, the, our birds in our collection, the flamingos, the ducks and the geese. And then the water eventually ends back up in the main waterfowl pond, which is a huge area with a big fountain. Uh, it's a premier area for our visitors around, that surrounds the courtyard. And uh, that's where a lot of the birds, especially at night, stay for protection. And uh, then they can move back into the wetlands and uh, where all the plant material is during the day. Very, very similar to what they would find in the wild. The Save the Rain green infrastructure here at the zoo is integrated into our education programs in many different ways. Tour guides make specialized stops during their tour at different green infrastructure features to talk to their tour groups about what we're doing here at the zoo. The rain barrels and other green infrastructure features that we've had for a number of years have helped us communicate what we're doing to save the local environment as well as what our visitors can do in their everyday lives. With over 370,000 visitors each year, the newest green infrastructure here at the zoo will make a huge impact. The Rosemont Gifford Zoo is Proud and honored to be a part of all the Save the Rain green infrastructure going on around central New York. As a facility, it really puts us at the cutting edge of conserving the local resources here in our environment. Save the Rain is, has exceeded our wildest expectations. And it's gone now to something that's really made our community very proud. My favorite part of Save the Rain is that when you're done, it's a much more beautiful product at the end than what it was um, when we were just using pipes and pumps. <laughs>